but I've scraped off the primer one of the cracks. Uh, some of the body guys said drill holes at the end of the cracks to keep it from spreading. It sounded reasonable, so I did that. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of stitch welds using my brand new wire feed welder. Um, first, and then I've already cut the metal that's going to replace this. Once I get this shaped into this curve, then I'm going to use this as a template to mark here, cut out. So hopefully this will fit exactly in the cutout and less filling and welding to do there. Uh, ironically, that's the curvature of the fender. And this dolly that came with my hammer and dolly kit is pretty much that same curve. It's a little actually more. So I'll be using that dolly to flatten, shape this piece of metal before transferring it and welding it in place here. That's the plan. Get to work. Once I did some testing, uh, figured out what setting this wire feed welder worked best at. I did some tack welds, actually from the, the inside I flipped the frame upside down to make sure these stress cracks didn't grow anymore. What I'm doing now is actually drilling uh, holes in all four of the, the corners. I saw somewhere rounded corners. Uh, are better to weld than exactly square and also what those holes allow me to do is take this high speed uh, cutter and I'll be able to actually insert into there cut across up back down then that will get patched in So I've cut up a rectangle getting very to match this patch that'll go in here. Uh, it's a rough cut. I was both hoping to get closer. Of note, um, just because of where this was and where I'm cutting, this is a stay. It's a spot welded to the fender for the uh, brake light wiring. So it looks like I'll be able to continue to use that. So I'll clean this edge up, probably with my Dremel. Oh, this is interesting. So there must have been another crack here that I did not see intact from behind. 
because as I was running the saw up here, it chipped off. So, you know, you would think this is aluminum, but it's actually steel. It's pretty thick steel too. Dremel work is done. The patch piece is fitting in there. It's pretty darn close. I'll make sure, you know, each is flush when I weld. Probably put a little channel along here for the weld to get through. That's going to take some filling. That piece that chipped off. Okay, probably same thing. I'll probably do it from the inside first and then do the outside second. That's what I'm doing with these.